My name is Angel Espineda Valencia. I came to the United States when I was five years old. Started the process to change my status and my paper just got lost. I kept going every year to check on the status of my papers and they just said to keep waiting. I eventually just forgot about it. Came to Utah, got a speeding ticket, got pulled over and was facing deportation. Didn't know what to do. They told me they were going to pick me up the next day. So my sister found Mr. Chris King. As far as he's concerned, there was no paperwork to be found. He made a couple phone calls. He found my papers, I think in Virginia or something. He asked the lady that he spoke to, I guess, to look it up. And the lady was like, yeah, she's had her residency since 2001 that they, you know, just gave me the residency. But for some reason, they never notified me. For me, that was going above and beyond, you know, what he had to do. He could have looked it up and said, I can't find anything, but he didn't. He went ahead and made phone calls to whoever he had to make phone calls to. He found my papers. I mean, how amazing is that? <laughs> He found him somewhere, stashed. I've known a lot of people who have actually gotten deported because they go to the wrong person because people are just looking for money. Mr. Keene is very, very different. I admire him for what he does. He cares about his people. He cares about what people are going through. I think that's very rare to find in an attorney. Most of them are just there for the money, especially immigration ones because they know that a lot of people can get deported and will get deported and that there's nothing they can do about it, but they still take their money. Mr. Keene was very different. I gave him no money because I was actually in jail. So I gave him no money. I paid him after I got out of jail. To me, that is the most important thing that somebody cared and that somebody didn't just look at you as cash. Mr. Keene is to me, my savior, and I tell him that every single time I see him, that if it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't be here today with my kids. We need more people like Mr. King to be able to help everybody out there.